You guys are so adamant that I'm this bitch. You're a bitch to me. We can't get through to him. Boats, boobs, bikinis, and a whole lot of drama. I know I have big shoes to fill, but I like it that way. Captain Carey is back, making his return to the hit Bravo series Below Deck for season 11. What do you think it is about this show that people love so much? It really shows behind the doors of an industry that's very, very secretive. Fresh off captaining one of the hit franchise's five spin-off shows, Below Deck Adventure, El Capitan's training in the Nordic Sea for the crystal clear waters of Grenada. Season 11, did you think, Captain, when you first started doing this, you all would still be here? I'm glad I'm still here. <laughs> <laughs> and Chief Stu Frazier is back for his third season, leading the eight ragtag crew members, well, Trying to at least. Strap in. It's gonna be a long ride. I, when I first met Fraser, uh, it was uh, BravoCon uh, a year beforehand, and um, first time, first time meeting him, I was actually there with Captain Lee. Um, I was like the fifth wheel. Um, it, was before, <laughs> it was before Adventure had even been released, and people would come up and uh, would go, you know, hug Captain Lee. Oh Lee, you're amazing, and oh Fraser, we love you so much, and. Nice to meet you. <laughs> and and Fraser and Lee were such huge supporters of me and very encouraging. And they took a lot of pressure off for me. So you're going to see a dynamic between the two of us. Um, very, uh, I, I don't know what word is, mate, but we, we got on really well. We clicked. Mm. Fraser? We absolutely did. You know, I was so grateful after the year before when I had a few hiccups with that good old Captain Sandy. Um, but, I, but ultimately, Kerry and I uh, saw eye to eye on most things and um, the respect was there and um, we actually enjoy each other's company which just makes you know life so much easier working alongside with each other as well so I am I'm very grateful and feel, and feel very lucky to have him. So uh, was that was that enjoy or tolerate? Tolerate sorry <laughs> did that not come across. <laughs> Frazier we heard that uh you were a little bit stern. Are we going to see you be a little bit friendlier? Listen, I was too friendly one year, too stern the next. I can't win. I'm just going to do me <laughs> and I hope that it works for the viewers and for my crew. And I'm, I'm pleased to say that I'm quite proud of this past season. So, so yeah, you'll see it all. We have to ask you, we saw some uh, hot tub action. So what's up there? Is there a love triangle situation? <laughs> Tell us what you can. Thank you. There's a lot of hot to action, but this season I think it's more so about what the guests are getting up to in that um, and what we have to clean afterwards as opposed to what we're doing in there. <laughs> what do you mean by we, Fraser? Yeah. I was very rarely in that hot tub. <laughs> I was going to put my foot down there. <laughs> Gross. Good God, this is dirty, eh? You also have some new crew members. Yes. A whole new set of Yossies trying to ruin our lives, and they do so greatly. <laughs> No, I'm joking. We have a phenomenal team this year, but you know, it's not fun if everything's going great and if they pair us with the people they know we'll love. So of course we've got some troubles as we all do in the real world with colleagues we work with. We don't you will always get to pick them. Um, but we get there in the end. Um, but yeah, there's always going to be tears. Um, there's always going to be uh, some people being let go and some people leaving, but that's part and parcel of the industry. You work hard, you'll be rewarded. You around, I will turn in a heartbeat. Do y'all ever watch the show back and think to yourself, dang, I really wish I wouldn't have said this, or I really wish I wouldn't have done this? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, the, the, the great thing about this is, um, like for myself, is we don't get much of a chance to really see ourselves from other people's perspective. You know, and our recollection of an event may be totally different to what the facts are. So it's 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 humbled me a lot, that's for sure. I think it's, it's an interesting perspective thinking, what would you do if the whole world was watching? Well, let me tell you, you'd, do a, you, you'd be a lot different in theory, but you forget that it's a show and you act normal. Funnily enough, we don't see what's going on when we're not around. It doesn't work that way. Um, so yeah, it's, it's an interesting, uh, it's an interesting sort of perspective that we have. You know, we, we don't see anything until it comes out on TV as well. You could describe the season in three words and three words only. What would they be? What just happened? Challenging, unexpected, and saucy. And you can watch the new season of Below Deck February 5th on Bravo. 
Bobby and Kyle screwing like dogs. <laughs>